Okay, let's go with Darnell and Jay with the first two questions. So, so Caleb, you played for a pretty high level program at Wasatch Academy. What's different about college level workouts and how you think you've adjusted to that? Um, I think the biggest difference um, that I've noticed is just the intensity. I think just the transition between a really good high school basketball team and a really good college basketball team is the intensity, the intensity in practice, um, the intensity that everyone's showing up to the gym with because like we want to be a good basketball team. Hey, Caleb, could this uh, team you're on now be last year's Wasatch Academy team? 100%. <laughs> uh, just, I was on a good basketball team last year, but this is a whole nother deal. Wanted to ask you what you think of this idea of playing in a bubble like the NBA did and floated out there, maybe Las Vegas or somewhere. As a player, mm -hmm. how, how do you react to that? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think at the end of the day, we just want to play. And however we can figure out a way to play and be safe through all this, um, I think we're all in for it. So whatever way we can find to start playing games and be safe, that's our ultimate goal. But I'd be fine with a bubble. Let's go, Hunter. Go ahead. Yeah, Caleb, I'm guessing this is quite a different experience than you had expected when you first were being recruited by colleges. What's it like having to deal with, you know, adjusting to college life and adjusting to you know, the step up from high school level of basketball to now college, but also juggling the pandemic with all of that as well? Yeah. Um, one of the things that has been not a struggle, but it's just been different is definitely time management. Like we got school going on and like school is hard. Uh, it takes time too. And then we're also putting in all of our time into the gym. So figuring out how to get good rest, figuring out how to uh, get your schoolwork done and figuring out how to come to practice every day with the right mentality. And then on top of that, I know we had um, a little bit of a struggle at the beginning of the season with some of the COVID precautions, but our coaches do a great job of keeping everything clean and safe and wearing our masks. And yeah, we're continuing to improve on that. And then what is your goal for yourself and also for this team this season? Um, I think our goal as a team, we just want to win games and we want to show everybody that we're a legit basketball program. And personally, I just want to do whatever I can to help this team, whether it be rebounding the ball, shooting the ball, playing defense, um, wherever they need me, I'm, I'm ready to step up. Go ahead, Sean. Yeah, Caleb, that actually fits really nicely into to kind of what I, what I wanted to ask you, because I remember last year at Wasatch Academy, you, you played um, pretty much everywhere on the court. I, I don't, don't remember if you played point guard very much, but you probably could have. Um, even slid into the five some, like when Madi got hurt and whatnot. What do you see just instinctively kind of on the court as sort of your role being um, here in your first season at BYU? I mean, do you see yourself as more of a big man, more of a wing? Like, have you thought about that very much or, or are you just kind of taking I, it day by day? Yeah, I'm kind of just taking it day by day, but I do see myself playing both. I think there's going to be different situations where coach is going to want me at the wing and there's going to be different situations where he's going to want me at the four. Um, there's going to be different lineups, smaller lineups, bigger lineups with more length. Um, but I just think it depends. I think just still kind of figuring all that out with um, practicing and getting ready for the season. So. Go ahead, Darnell. And then Jay after Darnell. Caleb, what kind of standard do you feel like you guys are held to as shooters at this level? A uh, coach was talking about some of the shooting drills that you guys do. I think we're held to a really high standard and we have some phenomenal shooters on this team. We shoot every single day. Um, and even from two months ago, our numbers have only gone up. When we're in the practice facility, we have these shot trackers. They track all of our threes, um, free throws, everything, kind of hold us accountable. And yeah, high standard of basketball. This BOE program was one of the best teams, if not the best team, I think last year in three point percentage and I don't see that going down. Caleb, I, I apologize if this has already been asked of you, but I think this is the first chance you've kind of talked to the media since 
uh, at least publicly since uh, the the change of decision, the change of heart, and all that. Um, yeah. What has that been like as far as social media? What's been the kind of a feedback or whatever you want to call it you've gotten? Uh, you know, basically over that decision. Um, honestly, it was pretty positive. Um, I thought I was going to get a lot more backlash and things from uh, the U, but luckily I didn't really get that. And I've had nothing but support from day one from the entire bas BYU basketball family, um, the staff, the players, all of the fans across the United States. Um, so it's been really good. Uh, I don't, I really didn't have any problems with that. So I was lucky and very grateful. So. Okay. That's it. I think. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you guys.